are living through climate collapse in real time and the impact is devastating. Protecting our climate is the world's greatest test of leadership. Even with a few days remaining in 2023, it is already the hottest year on record. Unsustainable use of dirty energy and land is pushing global warming to 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial level, affecting around 3.3 to 3.6 billion people and more. The 2023 Conference of Parties of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, being held in Dubai, is being called the global stocktake of climate plans and ambitions. It will show just how far the world is from meeting the goals of the 2015 Paris Agreement and what needs to be done to get there. For India, the climate challenge is considerable given its topography and demography. Yet, its ambitious climate plans speak for its commitment on climate action. Its G20 presidency this year has advanced the agenda on a just energy transition, biodiversity linkages, the blue economy, climate finance and renewable energy. With UN support, India is devising local solutions to climate problems. For India, cooling is so very critical and will become increasingly so due to the rising temperatures. UNEP is supporting the government in implementation of India Cooling Action Plan, which is such a unique innovation and forward-looking achievement of India. As part of this, we have launched a national urban cooling program with partners supporting the centre, states and cities on cooling in cities. In Bihar, the Muzaffarpur lychee is famous for its unique aroma, sweetness and juiciness. Changing weather patterns due to climate change, including rising temperature and decreasing humidity in the region, is making the production and sale of lychees challenging. UNDP through Jivika, Bihar Rural Livelihood Promotion Society, and funding from Japan's supplementary budget has set up a solar-powered cold storage facility that helps farmers preserve their harvested lychee fruit for longer periods of time reduces post-harvest losses and distress sales due to perishability of the fruit. In Purnia district of Bihar, UNICEF is working with schools and communities to build resilience against climate-induced disasters through the Chief Minister's School Safety Program. Mukhmantri Suraksha Guards Club ke tahat पर्यावरण जो आपदा आती है उससे संबंधी बच्चों को बताया जाता है फोकल शिक्षक के द्वारा बच्चे में एक सहयोग करने की भावना उत्पन्न हो चुकी है आत्मविश्वास बढ़ा है कि हम किसी भी परिस्थिति से जूझ सकते हैं अपना बचाव कर सकते हैं हम लोग घर हर गांव में जा करके ब्लॉक में जा करके इसका ट्रेनिंग दे रहे हैं बच्चे को सबसे पहले है क्या कि तैरने के लिए सिस्टम से नहीं जान रहे थे तो तैरने का कई तरीका है और रेस्क्यू करने का भी कई विधि है हम लोग जो ट्रेनिंग जो दिए हैं बच्चे को साथ के साथ कुछ गार्जियन लोग को भी बताते हैं और टीचर्स को भी बताते हैं स्कूल में जा करके ताकि वो और भी लोगों को बताए मुझे प्रशिक्षण आपदा मित्रों ने दिया है और भूकंप के बारे में बताया है बाढ़ के बारे में बताया है आग के बारे में बताया कि आपदा में कैसे हमें रहना है कैसे उससे बचना है We have the solutions at hand to ensure a bright future for people and planets. The UN is especially proud to join hands with India. There is simply no better engine to drive a global movement for sustainability and climate justice today, a Jan Andolan than India.